Now, to prove this theorem, in, in this case right here, we have a tangent. If we draw a tangent and secant lines to a circle from the same point in the exterior of the circle over here, then the length of this tangent segment, which is this part right here, is the, is the mean proportional between the length of the external segment, uh, secant segment and the, the internal and the length of the secant, okay? But essentially what that is saying is that B, as you can see here, BD times this, or excuse me, BD over BA is going to equal to BA over BC. Or if, when you cross multiply, you got BA times BA is equal to BD times BC. All right. So, first thing is I draw a line here, AC and AD. And I have the given, and we know that angle B is equal to, ang is congruent to angle B because they're reflected. Angle C, this angle right here, is going to equal to one half of this arc AD because that's the inscribed angle theorem where the inscribed angle equals to one half its arc. Likewise, BAD, this angle right here, BAD, this angle right here, is going to equal to one half of this arc, same arc, because the chord tangent angle is equal to one half its arc. Therefore, by substitution, since both of these equal to the same arc, or half arc, then therefore these two angles are the same, angle A and angle C are the same because of substitution. From that we know that the triangle of BDA is going to be similar to the triangle of BAC, and that's because of angle-angle. We have this angle and then these two angles, angle-angle similarity. From that we know the proportions of these triangles then, therefore BD over AC is going to be the same proportion as BA over BC, and therefore we have concluded this theorem.